name is Mireya Salcedo Quevedo, and I will be teaching third grade. Uh, I'll be doing the subject science, and this lesson will be for 45 minutes to one hour. And the topic is butterfly life cycle. Here are my standards. I have one for my lesson, one for asking and answering questions so that students are understanding the text and the lesson. I have one for writing and I have one for discussion. Here are students objectives. Here's how I will start my lesson. So I will have students click on the link and they will be typing in the code that's to the top right hand corner. So fuzz fub. And then they will be able to answer the question that I am opening with. So my questions are, what do you know about butterflies? How do they grow into butterflies? And they will type in their answer on the right side. Next, I have a pair deck vocabulary little game for them. And we will be reviewing vocabulary words for our lesson. So my code is down here, RPZJFA. And this code will take them directly to our vocabulary game. So they will need to um, draw pictures. Once we're done with that, I will be doing a think pair short, think pair share. So students will be discuss, discussing their answers with their partners. And this can relate to the vocabulary uh, little game that we did earlier and discuss the vocabulary words that they found interesting or hard or difficult. Next, we will have my lesson. So the link will take me to the actual lesson. And I found this uh, website that has a, a lesson on butterfly life cycle. And I thought it was pretty neat because it has pictures um, that are of the actual butterfly, the caterpillar. And it also has videos that are not cartoons. And I thought that was pretty uh, good for our students. So once I'm done teaching the lesson, I will be doing a read aloud on this book called Butterfly, Caterpillar to Butterfly. And it's on Epic, so I'll have students click that link and it'll take them to our book. While we're reading, I will be asking them questions and they will be answering questions so I know that they are uh, actually engaging in the text. And then we will be having two activities on Seesaw. So they will be clicking that link. And the first activity is the butterfly life cycle, which is an or organizing um, worksheet that they have to complete. So they have to draw pictures on the appropriate block that represents the, that stage of the butterfly life cycle. The second activity is students will be writing out the life cycle. So what happens first in the egg stage, what happens next in the caterpillar stage, then um, in the cocoon stage, and lastly, how does the, the uh, caterpillar turn into a butterfly? And then I did have an extended lesson activity. So this lesson would be uh, basically a journal that students would use to record their observations of a cocoon that I would get and bring into the classroom. They would observe every day. They would draw pictures and write out what every day looked like and the changes that were being made. And lastly, I would ask students how they felt about today's lesson.
And that is my lesson. I hope you enjoyed it.